Cecile Rubal Rivera was a leader in health care. She was also a co-founder of the Tepia Community Health Center and vice chair of the Chicano Humanities, Humanities and Arts Council. Her son says she was going through a breakup with her boyfriend before he ended both of their lives. Domestic violence deaths in Colorado reached an all-time high in 2022, the second year in a row that our state broke that record. According to new data by the Colorado Attorney General's office, 97% of domestic violence victims were women and 95% of perpetrators were male. Your reporter Jasmine Arenas joins us now. Jasmine, she's being remembered for her tireless work to help others. Lucia Ruba Rivera played such a vital role in the community from healthcare to the arts. And many of those she touched, including her friends and family, are shocked to learn of her passing. Handed me the keys and kissed me and said, go ahead and lock up. Reminiscing on their last encounter. Later. And then that was it. True Apodaca Cobell is the youngest son of the late Lucio Rubal. He's still in shock after learning his mother lost her life in a murder-suicide. She had so many years of life and love to give. To just be robbed of this is... It's, it's sending ripple effects throughout the community. Rubal was a pillar of the Latino community. Nearly 30 years ago, she helped open Clinica Tepeyac, now known as Tepeyac Community Health Center. It provides health care to underserved communities. I think someone like Lucille, who was involved in so much uh, when it came to our community, it's, it's just a huge loss and leaves a huge void um, for our community. I am looking forward to getting to know you. Ruba also opened the doors for many in the arts as vice chair of the Chicano Humanities and Arts Council and member of the board for decades. She served as a mentor to many, including now executive director Brenda Gurule. It's been devastating. I mean, I still haven't, I just doesn't seem real yet. She says Rubal's death shines light on domestic violence in the Latino community. Bill, it's a very, very important issue that needs to be addressed in our community. And as Rubal's son plans his mother's funeral the week of Thanksgiving, he can help but to be grateful for the time he did have with her. There's no doubt in any of our minds how much she loved us. I think that's universal among the folks that anybody you talk to about her. And police can conform, confirm a firearm was used in this case. Family members tell me Rubal had a history of an on and off relationship with the man who killed her and later took his own life. Shag Executive Director Brenda Gurule tells me this news hits harder in their community because the issue of domestic violence is no stranger to them, prompting them to address this issue as a board and ensure their community members feel heard. Now, the 2023 Colorado Domestic Violence Fatality Review shows 37 percent of DV fatalities are Latinx, which is disproportionate to the state's 22%. Mm. Well, our, our thoughts are definitely with his, you know, that family this Thanksgiving week. Thank you, Jasmine.